All right, so I'm gonna show you how to draw the facial proportions of a face. So you're going to need your pencil, your eraser, and a permanent writing utensil. I used a really thin Sharpie because there's a lot of different lines and I want you to be able to see each and every line. <clears throat> All right, so of course the first thing that we need to do before we start drawing anything is the overall shape of the face. Now, an easier way to do this is to start off by drawing a big circle. And so this portion of the face is actually the top half. So once you have your circle, then you can add on the shape of your chin. Now remember, this is just a sketch, what we do with the pencil, so if you do a mistake or you draw sh the shape that you don't really want, you can always adjust it. And make sure you do draw lightly so that way later on you can erase it easily. Alright, so we're going to draw some guidelines. The first one, we're going to draw a vertical line down the center of the face, just so we know the half and the half, the right from the left. Then. Halfway through that line, we're going to draw a horizontal line. And in this bottom section, halfway through that bottom section, we're going to draw another horizontal line. And this bottom section, we're going to draw one more horizontal line. Okay, so now we have our sections. Um, it looks a little weird, but this top section here is actually where the eyes are supposed to be. This second section is the nose. And this third section is the mouth. Now don't worry, we're not drawing aliens, we're drawing a human. I know the top portion looks very big, but it'll work out, trust me. So starting with the eyes, you are technically proportionately supposed to have five eyes lined up next to each other. So I'm going to write the five down. So we're going to draw our five. Keep in mind that you kind of want to keep those eyes around the same size, same length, just so that way proportionately when your final product comes out it doesn't look odd. Alright, so these two eyes are the eyes you're going to keep and draw your eyeballs in. So I went ahead and I started drawing in the eyes. Um, mine are a little, a little big to start off with, but you can always fix it when you go to trace it with your permanent writing utensil. And again, try to keep the same size. I know it's a little hard, especially with the eyes. Those, those shapes are very difficult to keep together, to keep the same. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the nose. So this point here, we're going to use it for the nose and I have the instructional video of the, how to draw the nose. We're going to use that cross point to start off with the ball of our nose. So we're going to draw our circle and then with the nostrils and then the bridge of our nose. And as you can see, mine's a little off with those eyes. They're not exactly symmetrical, but that's okay. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our mouth. And just like the other tutorial on how to draw the mouth, we're gonna use this cross section again. We're gonna start off by drawing a triangle in the middle of that cross section. And then we start with the top lip. Now these two little points that tell you where the lip ends, the creases of the lip end, they're supposed to be lined up with the pupil of the eyeball. And as I was drawing this, I wasn't aware that they were off. So just make sure when you draw yours that those two dots line up with the pupil of the eyeball. And then I went ahead and I added in some eyebrows. Just so that way they don't look too unnormal. And of course, the eyeballs kind of flow with the same shape as the eye. Okay, so we're done with our pencil. 
Now we're gonna get our permanent writing utensil and we're gonna start tracing. So when you start tracing with the permanent writing utensil, keep in mind that you can always adjust your lines. So for instance, the eyes, I wasn't exactly too happy with the left eye here and so I tried to kind of change the overall shape and look of that eye just so it matches the right eye a little more. And of course you're just basically tracing the points of or the lines of what you have been drawing with the pencil that you want to keep. Now if you don't want to keep it, don't don't be a don't be tracing it. And again with my eyebrows, I readjusted the shape of those eyebrows using my permanent marker. And then I went ahead and I added my little eyelashes. Decided to make it a girl. And those eyelashes, the same thing. I mean, the kind of messier they are, the more realistic they're going to end up looking. And you want to, you do want to have a couple of thin ones, a couple of thick ones. Just give it that variety. Okay. And all right, so. Now we're going to work with this top portion here. So this top half, this line along with the eyes, that's also going to be for your ears, believe it or not. So we're going to draw an ear on either side. It's basically just like the letter C, a little oval. And then of course on the top here, from the top of the face to the where the eyes are, you're going to cut that in half and that's basically going to be your hairline. That's where your forehead ends and your hairline begins. So I'm going to give her like a side part and then you can curve it down to the ears. Same thing on the other side. Okay. And if you decide you can add a little bit more make it look more a little realistic with the hair if you want long short whatever I went ahead and I I started tracing with my permanent marker the ears the jawline the rest of the face and then of course her hair and I went ahead and I started trying to give her that that little realistic look adding in those lines to make it look a little more realistic Adding a few little squiggly hairlines here. And then of course along the crease. And then some little frailies outside the line of her hair into her face. And then I added longer hair hanging almost as if she's like wearing a ponytail. And then of course her neck. And then I went ahead and I erased all of my pencil markings. And when you're erasing, just be careful that you don't erase too quickly, too fast. You're not you're not rushing it. If you rush it, then you might end up actually ripping or folding your paper, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to risk it. Okay. And I went ahead and I went in and I added a few little more details to the eyes, adding in some color so that way they look like actual eyeballs. And when I, what I did there is I just, I made little like dash lines towards the center of her eye, towards the pupil, using my marker. And just as I went around in the circle, they just angled with that circle. And I just made them a little bit darker along the edge on the outside of the, the iris. And I kind of filled in her tear duct. Added some lines for her ears, gave her some earrings, and then I went and added some little wrinkles in her lips. And of course, I gave her a little beauty mole. And that's it. Alright, well, hope you liked my video. Again, if 
you think it looks a little weird it looks a little odd I think right now maybe her nose is a little too small her lips are too not as wide as they should be and maybe her eyes are a little too big but of course proportion wise they are located where they should be don't forget to like subscribe and share my videos